everyone. Today I'm going to share a technique with you and it's using alcohol inks to distress on acetate. Um, here's a sample of what I made and um, just to give you an idea of how or what, what techniques I used here, um, I'm going to be showing you the technique that I used on this top note acetate. What I did is I used caramel alcohol ink and I used the gold and silver mixative and I pounced on it with the alcohol ink applicator um, to give it that color and then I took some vintage photo crackle paint and lightly brushed over that then took my sanding block as soon as that was dry and scratched over it and that's how you got this and you can see right through it um, but not so much, which is actually pretty cool. And then with the butterfly, what I did is I took the brushed pewter distress crackle paint and I lightly brushed over the acetate. Um, and by the way, all of these shapes are cut out using my Big Shot and Sizzix dies. Um, totally cool. Um, the Sizzix cuts through anything. Um, love it. So anyhow, anyhow I used the um, distress crackle paint um, brush pewter, lightly painted over the acetate, waited for that to dry. Then I took my acrylic paint dauber in lettuce and I completely covered the butterfly in this paint. Um, before that dried I took my mini mister and I sprayed a little bit and then I just took some paper towel and wiped off the excess um, acrylic paint. And so you can't really see it on in the lighting here, or maybe you can just a little bit, but you can see that there's some metallic silver sheen through the green, the lettuce paint. Totally cool. And then I used some stickles there, and it looks like it sort of got messed up at the tail end there, but I used some gold stickles um, in the middle of the butterfly. And then for the flower, I used the um, cranberry alcohol ink um, by Ranger, and I mixed in some gold mixative and then I pounced on it with my alcohol appl applicator al alcohol ink applicator and then when that was dry I took my black set distress crackle paint and I just brushed totally lightly over that so you can see it gave it a little bit of a worn look and then this little guy here this bling used to look like this and then what I did is I took the caramel alcohol ink and I mixed in some gold mixative, pounced on it, um, and it gave it that gold look. And I took my sanding block so that you could see a little bit of the, the white blink through there. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did this top note. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a piece of acetate here the top note acetate. What I'm going to go ahead and do is adhere it down to the craft sheet. Take my alcohol ink applicator. I'm going to shake up all the inks that I'm using. So I'm using the gold mixative, the silver mixative, and the caramel alcohol ink. So two second, one second, one second. Okay, and that's how much you need. Not very much. Okay, and then you're just going to pounce. Onto the acetate. And you don't want to use a swooshing movement. You want to use a really quick up-down movement on the alcohol ink applicator. And you want to go ahead and get a really good even coverage. And the alcohol ink dries pretty quick, so you don't have to wait too long. And by the way, when you're dealing with alcohol ink, you really do want to get this um, Ranger craft sheet because the alcohol inks do stain, so you need to be very careful. Okay. So let me just get these covered while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take 
the Distressed Crackle Paint and Vintage Photo. And I am just going to lightly go over the top note with that. And there isn't a particular way I put this on. There's really no method to my madness here. I just lightly brush it on. You want to make sure you don't have any thick um, clumps of the crackle paint on here because you just want it to be really light. And you don't need to cover the whole thing because you're going to be using your sanding block to sand some of this off. Okay, so let me just zoom in here so you can see what I've done. Okay, and for sake of time, I am going to use my heat gun to dry this. And you want to make sure you don't get too close to the acetate because it will curl up and melt from the heat. So just quick movements. Let me just pull this up so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the um, the, sh the uh, shimmer from the gold and silver mixative on the bottom there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get my old grungy self-healing mat. So before I do that, what I want to do is go ahead and take off the dotto because when you rub. with the sanding block, it actually picks up where the dotto is at, and then you'll see the shape of the dotto in your scratches. Okay, so you can actually just hold it down while you do the sanding. So, sanding block, and this is just my old Making memory sanding block. I love it though, it works well. I do have the Ranger one too, or the Tim Holtz one. Oops. Nope, see. Okay, boo-boo. Okay, there was a little um, dot on there. But let's see if we can. Okay, so then you just take your sanding block and then just scratch. And there's no method to my madness at all. It's just basically trying to get a worn look as much as possible. And depending on what's under there, you might want to um, you know, scratch it a little bit more if you really want something to show through. sort of see how transparent it is. Okay. Um, on the one that I made, I actually scratched it off just a little bit more so that you could see the sentiment on the tag underneath. So anyways, that's it. That's the technique for today. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave me a message on on YouTube or leave a comment or you can also visit my blog at www.butterflycaseswithlove.blogspot.com and leave me a message there. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.